moment after moment, this data just self-release. And even those most exalted thoughts, um, even those most, um, those, those ones that you reserve for, for open intelligence thinking, those special ones, um, they self-release too. And, and that was um, a little bit disappointing to, for me at the beginning. Like, oh, shouldn't I be keeping more of these exalted thoughts and this ex exalted feeling? Um, shouldn't I be keeping this kind of perception, these kind of data streams? But uh, again, we see that this is not a, a, not a training in, in temporary um, relief or temporary um, freedom. It's, it's really a training in complete freedom, complete authenticity. And this complete authenticity cannot be found in any description, be it an exalted description, be it a, a, a dirty or, um, or lesser description as well. And, and so what, what I found is whenever I've, I've, I've gotten to a place of, um, of this is it or, or I'm in a place of this is really not it, um, this is really just um, the, the worst. We, we see that we have equal opportunities to be um, our, our natural, always on exalted nature. And so the point where, where, I, where I started to see that this was the case was, was in circumstances like this, being around, um, the, being involved in, in services, being involved in the Four Mainstays very actively being involved in, in data streams that are, uh, ident uh, that are coming up that are really, really horrible, being involved in, d in data streams that are, and getting comfortable with data streams that are really, really um, wondrous, and seeing that same kind of um, perfection and, and ease and joy. So the, the, yeah, the, it's, it's really incredible that um, we have this opportunity to to find in our experience that to 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 see that our experience is is um, is exactly perfect for us each and every time, and that we have the opportunity ourselves to to check in our our own experience rather than gain anything from from what someone's saying or or what's what's being said. We have this opportunity available to us. And I think that's what is so incredibly unique about this training, is that there is a, a, a support structure on offer that encourages this and, and really brings this to, to life in our own experience. And I think I can share something about um, my experiences here over the last uh, four, four or five days. I've just come from Australia, um, where, I was, um, where I was visiting family and friends. And... Um, I came to a, a from from a summery uh, climate to a, a snowy. Uh, I was surprised actually that there was just uh, snow covered everywhere, and it it's actually quite a, a new experience for me. Um, snow. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I haven't really been around it uh, at at all in my life, and and it's not. So, I, I, it, it's quite unique because it's not often that you have these kind of really really new experiences. And it's really beautiful because I see the power of, of my own direct experience. And I see the power of, of each and everyone's own direct experience. Because I, I, I hear that there's many different words for snow in like different cultures and, and different um, parts of the world. They have like 50 words for, for snow. And, you know, I could read about snow all day long. I could, I could get really, really, you know, and, and I did know a lot about snow. And, and yet I never experienced it myself. I had never experienced it. And to drive into the center and to have the snow falling down and like, you know, wisping around as well. It's like, wow, we're, I'm like, we're in a snow, a snow dome, those things that I see. And it's like, oh, wow, this, this is snow. This is snowing. And, and no, no one's description could have, could, have, um, could have given me that experience. No one's description. Even the best poets, the best philosophers, the, the, the best of the best, the, the, those philosophers of 2,000 years ago, not even their descriptions could have um, given me that, the power of that direct experience. And so I think that's where, where I, I am so grateful for this training, 
for gifting me the power of the direct experience of open intelligence again and again and again and pointing me to that, empowering me um, as as um, empowering me as a person that can really take up this responsibility quite simply in each and every moment. In each and every moment, there is that choice to directly experience open intelligence, to take a short moment of open intelligence and to repeat that again and again, to tap in with that authentic nature, this authentic human nature again and again, what's completely authentic about us. And, and to, to return to that again and again until it's just so obvious. It's just so, so, so obvious. And so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just so grateful for, for this, uh, this power of the direct experience and the pointing back to our own power as human beings in the world, our own power to stand up for this choice and to really prioritise that choice in our life.